I don't think that I ever realized that I could do it professionally. I just always wanted to. I mean, ever since I was a kid, like I had like a 45 minute bus ride to school every day. And I would just like stare out the window and just think about being a singer. Like that's all I wanted to do. But I was just kind of in a place that didn't have a lot of opportunity. You know, I grew up on like a 23 acre farm lot in Oregon. So um, I definitely had to like get out of where I was, which was a big, which was a big deal. And it's kind of scary, so. I got into music through my um, parents and my brother. Um, my parents were really into the blues, so um, they would listen to Muddy Waters and Howlin' Wolf and kind of got into that, oddly enough, at a really young age. And then um, my brother loved hip hop, so um, I would often steal his Nas and Jay-Z CDs. You know, I like both kinds of music for different reasons. You know, I love the sincerity of the of the singers and the blues, and I love the stories of hip hop. I'm inspired by a lot of different artists for different reasons. I mean, voices like Big Mama Thornton and Etta James and Tina Turner. Um, I was always very inspired by their, their, you know, their female, you know, power voices. Um, uh, as songwriters like Tom Petty and David Bowie, who would always write their own music, you know, that always really inspired me. And then you know, the hip hop, Jay-Z to Nas, and stories about, you know, them kind of getting out of where they were and becoming something more. I started writing when I was really young. I mean, probably like, like 14 maybe I finished like my first song and it was very intense and like it was called like collapse <laughs> yeah it was like really emotional and it, just from a young age I could kind of you know I grew up listening to the blues so I was always really like that was always really appealing to me was this heavy emotion in music and the sincerity so when I went to write that's just kind of what happened <laughs> In the mid September heat, we say these nights on fire so hot we bend it down. Now all that's left of us is ashes on the ground. My new album is called Till the Casket Drops. I was working on a song for like two hours one time when I was writing this record, and uh, I was working on it for a long time, and I wasn't sure if I loved it because I always think like. I might have to play this song for the rest of my life, so I have to really love these songs if I'm going to finish them. So I'd been working on this one song, and then all of a sudden, I, in the middle of it, I, I just I, I came up with the chords for Home, which is on my record, and I wrote the chorus for Home in like, you know, just like 10 minutes or something, and then I just totally followed it. You know, sometimes you just have to not fight when you're writing and just follow where wherever you go. So um, I started writing the chords for the chorus of Home and just kind of threw away the other song and, and wrote Home. I think that the most important thing I kind of realized when making this record was you have to make music that you you like to listen to. You know, like I, when I get into my car and I'm listening to hip hop, like I can't be making music that's so far away from that that then I can't wait to get in my car and listen to, you know, something else. <laughs> so I really kind of, when I was making this record, it was really fun because I just got to create music that, that I love. I, you know, I really do have a good time playing. I mean, I, I, I should. I mean, I do it all the time. But I mean, when I was growing up and I was playing music with my dad, like it was like that was that was fun for us. That was something we really enjoyed. So, when I'm playing with my band or I'm playing with Eric, um, I just I really love it. I think it's fun. You're on the edge of your seat the whole time. You know, you don't know that it's always going to be great, and so it's kind of exhilarating. And and 
yeah, I'm, you know, I, I play with some incredible musicians, so um, it's fun. I think that, uh, and I feel it a lot at, at our shows when we, when, when we, we've been on tour right now, um, and uh, I think people come out and it's, it's a really great experience for them. I think they have a really great time and songs that, I have a lot of people come up to me and tell me that like my, my album's helping them get through a tough situation or a tough relationship or a tough breakup. And I think that, you know, I see a lot of people smiling at my shows. Like it's something that makes them feel good. So it makes me feel good too. I think my, the only thing I can really ask for is that I hope that I can continue to make music that, that resonates with people that listen to it, you know? Um, I hope that I can, you know, keep going out there and all over the country and all over the world and playing music and that would be just great for me. Hey, this is ZZ Ward, and you're watching Babel Music. Suits on the street, frames and broken pictures in the mid